Hey guys, so today we're going to clean out the throttle body because it's probably going to be pretty gummed up and everything. Um, it's having this little idle issue like mentioned in the previous videos. So I'm going to clean it out and see how that goes. Hopefully that makes the idle a little bit better, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to start off this whole process by disconnecting the air box and also disconnecting the intake tube and moving this stuff out of the way as well as unplugging any necessary sensors that might be in the way while cleaning the throttle body. Alright, so as you can see, it's kind of black inside there, so I shine the light. So I'm going to just clean this out. What I'm going to be using is just some carb cleaner. So I've got some of this stuff. Should do the trick. So the carb cleaner and a rag, pretty much all I'm going to be using. So spray some carb cleaner on a rag and start wiping away at the black deposits inside the throttle body. You could also spray some carb cleaner inside the throttle body for it to start dissolving some of the deposits as you're scrubbing. As well, use some paper towel and a toothbrush which will also help with the cleaning and making sure that all the black stuff comes off of the throttle body. All right, so it's all pretty clean now, you can see. Um, it was pretty black earlier, so. Yeah, just kind of clean that up. Now we'll reinstall everything in reverse and move on to the ICV.
All right, so the other thing that could be causing idle issue is that the IACV could be very dirty. So I, the IACV, the idle air control valve, uh, is this piece in the back here. Um, it's held on by two, I believe, 12 millimeter bolts. So all you have to do is just loosen those twos up and take a look at it to see how if it's really dirty or not. You can also spray a whole bunch of uh, carb cleaner and or um, brake clean to kind of clean it out. Um, I'm just gonna take a look at it first and see if if this is one of the reasons why the, I have an idle issue. So, if you look at that, looks pretty clogged and dirty. This was actually super clean when I installed this ICV. So, I'm guessing there was a whole bunch of like gross stuff inside the uh, um, intake manifold or something. But this could be the reason why I'm getting a um, idle issue. But I'm going to go ahead and spray it out and clean it out and see how it runs afterwards. So you'll want to spray carb cleaner into the two ports of the IACV until carb cleaner starts leaking out of the two ports. You'll then drain and wipe the IACV and then fill it up with carb cleaner again. You repeat this process until the IACV is completely clean. So I'm doing this while it's on, still connected to these coolant lines back here. I mean, what you can do is actually just disconnect the coolant lines and plug them so you don't keep leaking coolant everywhere and then reattach them later. But I'm going to try and clean this without having to detach the coolant lines. So, so I noticed that there's a whole bunch of dirt coming out of the the holes in the back of the intake man manifold where the IACV goes. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but look, one of the holes on this back piece has um, some dirt, which is causing the clogging. So what I'm going to do is just get my shop back in, see if I could suck some of that dirt out.
So here I'm trying to get all the carb cleaner out of the IACV. I didn't have to use much cleaner because the IACV was pretty clean aside from the dirt that was on the mesh screen. I'm using some compressed air to blow out the carb cleaner and help the IACV dry out faster. I'm also using a rag to catch the droplets and wearing goggles so that it doesn't spray me in the eyes. What you can do is actually spray brake cleaner into the IACV to rinse out the carb cleaner and then let it air dry before reinstallation. I have a compressor so I might as well use it. Once the IACV is dry, then reinstall everything in reverse order before firing up the engine. So an engine check light came on and I realized that probably I forgot to plug back some of my sensors. I do have a kind of jumper harness on the back of the IACV which could have come loose. I'm using a jumper because when the IACV is plugged in it's very difficult to unplug and this, this happened when I was trying to adjust my idle and I couldn't unplug it. Uh, I'm thinking it's because the, the IACV is an OBD1 which is a tighter fit that on the intake manifold than the OBD2. Uh, but I don't really have OBD2 one to compare with, so I don't really know.
So as you can hear, it's actually idling fine. It sounds fine here. Um, I was actually excited, thinking the problem was fixed, and then it started idling weird again. Notice the click right before the idle starts going weird. So I disconnected the EVAP to see if it would make a difference. I know there was some discussion about the OBD2 to OBD1 having to do this. There was no talk about uh, needing to do this on OBD0 to OBD1, but I couldn't hurt to try. It sounded like it made a difference at first, and then the idle issue comes back as the engine tries to catch up on its RPM. No stalling, but still sounds like it's struggling as the throttle closes and it tries to catch up with the RPMs. I turned off the engine and plugged back the EVAP and then try again, idle is still weird. Well, I guess that's a failed attempt today. If you guys have any ideas, please share it in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, and see you in the next video. Cheers.